Oilers post game following a loss to the Brooks Bandits in game four of the self final and unfortunately the season ends unfortunately for the Okotoks Oilers and with me now is head coach and general manager of the Okotoks Oilers Tyler Dice. Coach I think if we started the year off and would be in a self final against Brooks the way things this season went went if I think you would take that and just overall a valiant effort in the last two games here of the self final against the top team in this country. Yeah you know I I think you know this is where we thought we could get to is is get to play Brooks here at the South Final. Uh, you knew, we knew that they were going to be there. We, it's just we had a really tough season this year, right, with a lot of injuries, a lot of young guys, so a lot of growing pains and stuff. But at the end of the day, like, these guys came out, uh, you know, out of the season better and stuff. And, you know, when we got into the playoffs, we were we were playing good hockey here. We just ran into a team that has uh, got a lot more experience and, and is a really good team. I want to say the, the switch was almost turned on when after the Black Folds games to get into the playoffs and clinch fourth, and then you roll from there, you get to the semifinal against Drumheller. So much character was built from the back out. Jack McNaughton goes out. Parker Saka gets some chances to play. Your defense got more and more experience. The forwards did their thing as well, but top to bottom, like you mentioned, it's got the full switch turned on, and that just means nothing but wonders going for the future of this team. Yeah, you know, like I think they, you know, by playing them, that's, you know, something that they want to make sure that they get to and stuff and you know take a couple days off or a week off but then you got to get back to the drawing board here and, and and get this team ready for next year you know obviously we want to get to to that cell final but we want to win that cell final and then obviously we want to you know get into the league final and and win that so we just we got some work to do here and you know hockey's a funny thing you never know what can happen the veterans, the 20-year-olds, uh, you only had three left of your 20-year-olds in the lineup, but obviously Tucker McCray, Ethan Jamernick, Riley Bernarchuk, Jack McNaughton, uh, Carter Mass, you're just trying to remember them all off the top of my head, and I'm, I'm missing my last guy here, but the list goes on and on. Uh, obviously, their last game of junior, what was it like coaching that group of 20-year-olds this year? Yeah, it was huge, you know, like it was, it was just huge, you know, having those guys there, especially with our with so many guys departing here from the season before and stuff and, and kind of creating that, that leadership co core into our, our room like that. And it just worked out great. You know, they, they, they battled through it. They got injured a lot and, and they helped these young guys, um, you know, become more accountable and more professional. Did remember it's Brendan Boyle was the other 20 year old I forgot, but finally uh, got kind of got back to normal. Finally, at the end of the year, I think it was a great year for this Oiler team. Uh, showed a lot of growth. The, the the crowd started to show up in the playoffs, and almost as normal as you can get. Kind of maybe just a quick little synopsis how this season went from in the in your office on the ice and obviously the way this team performed in all aspects of junior hockey once again well i think it was you know this year was right back to the drawing board like it was it was all new players so it was like a brand new team and it was kind of like just starting all over again and it was fun there was some big growing pains and some ups and downs and ebbs and flows with the season and stuff and but I think everyone just stayed positive and, and knew what we could do if, you know, we get into the playoffs and they just believed. Coach, always a pleasure. Uh, I've been doing this for too long and probably sick me by now, but it's always it was a great season. I appreciate your time all season as well. Oh, I appreciate it, Gino.